and rebellion, which ended up in a complete destruction of the earth, and darkness was upon the whole earth, and the darkness was so great, you couldn't see the sun and the stars. They were out there, and you couldn't see them until God removed the darkness, and then the sun could shine back upon the earth. But the miraculous thing is, he did bring up the vegetation even before that, because God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. The scripture teaches also that one day with the Lord is like a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. I think it's quite interesting that it's been exactly, in the chronological Bible actually, also contains dates. It goes backwards from Jesus all the way back. And you can take this and you can use the first day according to this first day of uh, this restoration, the creation, was 3,975 B.C., which is just about 4,000. You can even see when Adam was first brought, because we know he was on the sixth day, 3975 B.C., Friday, April 1st, by the way. They've got, they, cover, they go back all the way back from the time of Jesus. What's interesting here is you have 4,000 years before Christ. You have 2,000 years that have passed since Christ, right? One day for 1,000 years makes it six days. Six 1,000 days. 1,000 year days. And he says the last period is going to be a millennium. And it'll be a day of rest for the earth. And then what follows seven? The eighth day or the, the new day or the, the new beginning. And it says, behold.